Hello everyone, Lena here. Today I'm finally, yes I know it's almost the end of January, but I'm finally going to talk about how my 2020 goals went and what my 2021 goals are. So let's just get into it. My 2020 goals, I have gone back to the script I had for that video, they were organized by fandom. I have done something completely different for this year, but you will see that a little later. Let's just talk about how the 2021, 2020 goals went. So the first fandom I talked about was Yuri on Ice. I, this will be very quick, I did nothing for that fandom this year. Um, I had in here, I have my outline like right here, so you will see me looking down every now and then. But I had in it to finish my two multi-chapters that are, are still ongoing. Um, one is the Trans-Siberian AU and then the other one is the um, one I call The Room and I think the working on AO3 is called Find Me In Me, um, which there is a reason for that title. I don't think the reason is obvious yet to anyone who has been reading it because it's incomplete. I didn't even post the last chapter. I hate that I didn't post the last chapter because I, it was for a big bang and one of the two pieces that my artist made for it was for that last chapter and I never posted it and I feel horrible about it but I said to myself I'll post it when I finish the entire story and it never happened so here we are but anyway let's move on for Good Omens, my second fandom uh, it's the other way around entirely I finished all of the goals that I had set for it so the first goal was posting the Caribbean uh, one-shot, which I did, I think, January that year. And also for January that year, I posted the pinch hit uh, one-shot that I had to do for uh, Holiday Big Bang. They were asking for pinch hitters. I said yes, and I wrote a one-shot. I actually really like it. I still remember it. It's the one, or I think at least, it's the one with the bookshop and the Bentley sort of talking between them and I, they, I don't think they talk, but they are sort of sentient and they are pushing um, Azeravel and Crowley to get together. It was really cute. It was holiday themed. There were Christmas carols and love confessions and dancing and I, I'm really happy with that one shot. I also had on my list to do more work on Podfix and catch up with my list. And let's see if I remember to put here a screenshot of my list of Podfix because I have a... Um, I have a spreadsheet for it, for them, that I'm actually going to be changing the spreadsheet this year, but I have a spreadsheet that I've been using for ever since I started doing any podfix, and I'm happy to say that it's mostly green right now for the Good Omens fandom, so I'm catching up with my list of fanfic that I wanted to podfic. I haven't read as much Good Omens uh, fic lately, so it's easy to catch up because I'm not constantly adding stuff. Uh, unlike the Witcher fandom, for which I add more than I podfic, but you know, that's that's what happens when you read a lot and don't podfic as much. And then finally, I wanted to learn more about audio editing uh, via or via Crown of Thorns put Rama, and that has happened. I don't think I was an editor yet, or if I was, I was just starting when I set these goals. I have edited a bunch of chapters for Crown of Thorns, and not only have I edited a bunch of chapters, I also edited a bunch of interviews, so yeah, I'm pretty happy. I think I got a lot better at editing, and well, there have been a lot of other factors, but I'm pretty happy with what I've learned audio editing-wise this year. My third fandom in my goals was the Guardians of Time fandom, surprising absolutely nobody because I started my channel writing a story for this fandom. Um, my goals were finish, edit, and post the Lorian story, which I did! The mind reading story that I started, which I didn't, I haven't finished it even. Uh, and a multi-chapter that was titling classes tentatively. Those are not finished, the, the last two. They exist, but they are not finished. Um, and then another one that I wanted to do was more character conversations, which is for a series that I have ongoing. And I haven't posted it, but I did write one more that was actually pretty long. It had like three different scenes of um, character conversations after the Underworld extravaganza of the second book. So I will have to edit that and post it eventually, but it's written at least, which is more than I can say for the other two. And then other things that I did in that fandom that I didn't set goals for because they were projects that appeared through the year were 
write the Hanahaki AU, which it's, it's still not edited. <laughs> it's still not edited, but it's written. So that's something. And the Bells story, which started out as a one-shot and ended up being like, what, 35, 37k? It's posted, and I still have to cross-post it to fanfiction.net because I never use fanfiction.net, so I keep forgetting. But I will probably do that before next week, because next week I have a video plan to talk about Bells, the whole story, the concept, the characters, a bit of the plot, the editing, everything. So how it happened, the timeline, all of that. So... And then finally for 2020 I had general goals and in general I had post more, more stuff than I did last year which has happened mostly though it has been through um, fandom events like Girl Womp Week or like the winter prompts that I'm posting now. I'm, not, I'm counting the winter prompts for this year but I, you know, I wrote them last year, posted them this year, it's a bit of a mess. Um, and also voice theme. Voice theme has helped a lot with the posting, so. Um, get better at editing and faster editing passes. I don't know if this has exactly happened. I think I've gotten better at editing in the sense that I know what I'm looking for when I'm editing. Um, the editing for Bells, for example, went really quickly, but on the other hand, I've been procrastinating the editing of the Hanahaki AU since, like, what, March? April? So, you know, I mean, March and April were really weird months, to be fair, but, mm, you know, you know. And finally, my last goal for last year was to do more things that scare me a little, like joining the editing team of the Good Omens but Rama. I did that. <laughs> I did that. I not only did that, I also volunteered to help with social media and run the interviews. The interviews were so long, y'all. I did so many interviews in the end, and I, I'm so happy that I did them. I'm really impressed with the work I put on in that. And yeah, I did the interviews. And also, something that... It didn't quite scare me, but it was a lot more work than I knew or I thought I could do, was voice team. Voice team was so much fun. Oh my god, is this is the most fun I've had probably with anything fandom related the entire year. Voice theme and mystery box, both both versions of the event. Um, and it's probably because it's so fandom and sort of community oriented. It's not just something you're doing for yourself, which is always very rewarding. I love my fandom creativity and my fandom stuff, but doing this with other people, especially audio or, and podfic related stuff. It's usually, um, for me at least so far, it had been pretty, you know, personal, pretty much like writing. It's like a solitary activity, but doing it with other people and not just the multi-voice, because multi-voices to a certain extent are still something you do and then you send your files and then it becomes a multi-voice, but it's not exactly, you know, it's, it's not exactly community-based, whereas Voice team had so many challenges that weren't exactly make a multi-voice. They were like things like comments on your teammates' podfix or um, create an anthology together or have a podcast with the rest of your team about whatever you want or interview one another or just things to get to know one another that you wouldn't have done necessarily when you were recording a multi-voice. So that was a lot of fun. Um, I don't know that I was super scared to do it, but it was definitely something new and that I hadn't done before and I'm really, really happy that I did that. That, and to a lesser extent, um, Europod, the, the online version of Europod, um, which was really fun. It wasn't exactly the same, I think, as if I had been there in person with the rest of the, the European podfickers and that was the same sentiment I got from people who had been to the in-person uh, cons other years, but, you know, COVID. So, it was fun. I had a lot of fun. I think in terms of fandom, my 2020 wasn't as disastrous as it could have been. I know that I'm really lucky in this respect and I don't want to say, oh, I didn't do this and I didn't do that and my year was a disaster. I'm counting my Finnish year as a very, very successful year, and I'm very lucky to say this, so, yeah. Um, what else? I think my personal year, I'm not gonna go a lot into my personal goals 
for 2020 and what happened and what didn't happen. But in general, I would say it was a good year. Academically, I finished my master's and I am now on, you know, searching for a job. So it's it's been a good year. I could have done a lot more, I think, if it hadn't been so strange. Um, but I did things. And I think I learned a lot about myself and my mental health and, and what helps me in my personal life. So I will count that as a, as a success. And again, I am aware that I'm incredibly lucky to have, you know, a family where we have not suffered from COVID. Of course, going through lockdown wasn't easy for any of us, but yeah, in the big in the big scheme of things, I think we got off really lucky and I'm really grateful for that. So in the big dumpster fire that was this year, I guess at least we we had a good year and we, we should be thankful for that. So I'm really glad to see 2020 go, despite all of this. And let's hope that 2021 is better for everybody. Let's talk now about my 2021 goals. So the way I structure it... Um, instead of going by fandom, this year I've done it by month. Um, it's not by quarters. I do structure my, my goals by quarters and I do have sort of a Kanban board, but in general I've tried to sort of set all of my goals in a year or a monthly calendar, but like through the whole year, based on what I more or less know that I will need to do each month and what I know from experience that I can do in my fanish life um, each month. So I'm going to sort of read what I plan to do each month and see how I do. And I guess next year we'll see what I did and what I didn't do. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And also I've separated my goals between writing goals and perfect goals and well at the end I will do a general goals like I did last year for anything that is not writing or perfect related so let's go my goals for January are pretty simple writing wise I want to complete both of my Garaskier Balang stories I do have a vlog going on about how I'm writing them it's not going well I'm fairly confident I will still do it but I'm kind of discouraged on the past couple of days you will see that when you see that for now, don't worry about it. It will get done. I thrive on deadlines. I'm not worried. I'm just disappointed, but not worried. And I still have time. So I, I want to write my Garaskia Rivers Bank stories, both of them. And at some point, I would like to finish, uh, whether you like it or not, the story that I started on a whim. And I don't know why I decided to make it this long. Ah, uh, <laughs> for that story, I already have a chapter or half a chapter written. Um, it just has to be edited. I wrote it during NaNoWriMo. It's there. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I want to write it at some point. Hopefully during January. Again, that story was supposed to be low effort. And it's going to continue on that path. So those are my writing goals for January. My perfect goals for January would be to finish posting to AO3 everything I did last month during voice theme. Um, I'm almost done. I finished posting all of the ITPE stuff, and you already saw that on my December wrap-up. I want to post everything else, though. I'm currently... Uh, let me see. I'm posting a lot of stuff. I just posted the 20, 28th? 28th uh, winter prompt, which is not part of Fake It's Fake, but posting mine. Um, I also posted one of the things that I did for Tag Team on Voice Team. Podfix. Yeah, I think I have like one more week-ish of posting one thing a day, but then I should should be done, finally. <laughs> so that will be completed on January, barring disaster. I also want to do a filk. Let's see if my voice team, team wants to get back together for another filk. And I would like to finish First Winter, which didn't get done last month. Uh, First Winter, if you haven't been paying attention, it's a podfic I did last January, so not January of 2020, but like January... No, wait, that doesn't make sense. I I did First Winter about a year ago. I don't know if it was December 2019 or January 2020, but around that Christmassy time. 
but I didn't post it. I've gone back, I've looked at it, um, it was edited, I've added labels to everything so I know where to add sound effects and music, which is the only thing missing, because I need to record that music because I gave myself that challenge and I haven't done it yet, so hopefully that will get done this week, if not next week. Let's see how it goes with the Garaski reverse blank, which is a priority because deadlines. For February, I want to work on the Hanahaki AU. It has to get done. I would ideally like to start posting it um, on March 20... I think it's March 22, 22nd or 23rd, wherever spring starts. I will look it up because I always forget which exact day of the month it starts and I know it's like... It changes very slowly because the Earth is... I don't know. Something, something, the rotation of the Earth and, and like the universe. I don't remember right now, but yes. I would like to start posting it during the equinox or during at the equinox, um, spring equinox. So that's going to have to be edited during February and the beginning of March. So that's my goals, my March, uh, my February goals for writing. Um, along with doing the prompts for Sugar and Spice Bingo for The Witcher, which should not take a long time. I would like to do at least the one board that I have, so nine prompts. If I have time, I can request another board, but I'm not pushing myself to do that. It's really fun. I really, really like the prompts. Um, but you know, just, uh, it's for fun. My Podfake goals for February are to do something for Podfake Big Bang, and I have to decide what exactly after I finish drafting for Garaskier Big Bang, but um, I will probably do Clover and other... other we I don't remember the exact title, but it's the sequel to Ivy on the Hill, which I already posted last year. Um, it's really cute, Garaskier, uh, which are fake. So I will probably post that, and we'll see if I do something else. I don't know if I'll have the time, but that's going to depend on how quickly I finish Garaskier Reverse Bang, because um, life... So it's going to depend on that and how long editing in a Hanahaki AU takes me. If I don't post anything else than that one particular podfic for uh, podfic Big Bang, it will be fine. I will probably just take on a long, long, long podfic later on and post it for the next Big Bang, so we'll see how it goes, but yeah, I'm excited for Clover and Other Beloved Weeds, I think is the title. My March writing goals are to complete it and finish this Sugar and Spice Bingo, at least the first card, and to work on my Guardians of Time one-shots, because I have way too many, I'm sure I will have even more by the time March rolls around, so I would like to do that. I, they are also purposefully small um, goals because I know, I just know that the Hanahaki AU is going to run long into March. So yeah, I would like to have enough time for everything. Besides, I at this point, by this point of the year, I already don't know what I'll be doing like in my personal life. So hopefully I will have time for everything. But if not, at least I'm giving myself small-ish goals. As for my podfic goals for March, I also have a bunch of small-ish stuff. Um, I want to continue with the Alphabet series, which I started during Voice Team. It's a series of drabbles by Naughty underscore Yorick that, like the name implies, are written after random, randomly selected words, starting with each letter of the alphabet. The L is doubled for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why exactly. Um, the L is doubled, so there are 27. I already have four that I did during Voice Team, and yeah. And also, Chantress, who did the covers for all four of those, offered to continue doing the, ch the covers for the rest of them, so that's going to be fun. Uh, I also want to continue with the You Follow series, which is a series of four fix that I also started during Voice Team. Um, I have one of them posted. Let's see what happens to the other three. They're not very long. They are kind of... Um, they're very short, actually, because they are... Um, a series of like tweets, so it's like quick enough to read. They have the tweet sound effect, but like it's that's easy enough to add during editing, so shouldn't take too long. And if I have time, I'm also Chantress and I decided to do a collab, um, a multi voice at some point through the year, so maybe if I have enough time, I can start 
um, poking her about it and prepping it. Fingers crossed. For my April goals, I kept it really simple. I want to work on the AVO AU that I have for Guardians of Time. I have a relatively solid idea of how I want the characterization of each person, of character to be, um, but I don't exactly know what I'm doing with the plot, so I will like to work on that. At least the first draft. I think it should be doable. I think I should have a little bit more time. I don't know exactly what I'll be doing in April if I'm working. That will depend, but at least I know that in April, or at least it's usually in April, we have Easter holidays in which I probably won't have um, English classes with the kids I teach. So if I have a little bit more time, I might be able to complete the first draft during April. I don't know how long it's going to be. I already have like a few K. I don't think I have more than 10k, but you know, it's already started. It's started. Let's leave it at that. So that's my writing goals for April. And as for my perfect goals, I also have the collab with Chantres question mark, question mark, question mark. And also I would like to plan with my voice team team the second part of the Good Omens podcast that we did. We did a Good Omens podcast for the tiebreaker challenge. And we decided that we wanted to think and plot and perhaps do a second part where the characters... So in the, in the first part, the characters discover um, Podfic. In the second part, we were thinking characters could discover Filk. We have to talk about it and I don't think I'm going to have time to even think about it too much before April. So that's where I've put it. If it changes, because this is a team effort, I can't just say, oh, I'm going to do it in April and like force everybody to do it in April with me, so we'll see, but it's tentatively there. So yeah, two collapse for April. Let's see how it goes. For May, I have scheduled nothing at all because May is a, um, it's May is voice team month and I don't think I'm ha I have the mental capacity to work on anything aside from voice team. It brings out my competitive streak like nothing else. If you give me points for stuff, I will do it. I should give myself points for doing stuff because that would make me so productive. Except I don't know if it works if I give myself the points, but that's another story. So May, the only thing my calendar says for May is voice theme in all caps. For June, I have again for writing goals the ABOAU. I don't know if it will be editing. I don't know if it will be more drafting, I don't know exactly, but I want to work on that one. The goals are becoming like more and more vague as we go on because I don't know where I'm going to be in my life at that part of the year, but we'll see. And for Podfic, and here's the interesting thing, for Podfic I have picked a really really super long Podfic or fic that I wanted to do, but the problem is I don't know if I'm going to have the house to myself to record, and the part pick I picked is pretty not safe for work, so I really would like to not have my parents around when I'm recording all of this. And also, like, my calendar right now, I'm looking at it, it has that goal for three consecutive months. It's that long. I'm not going to say what fic it is, for what fandom, I'm not going to say anything other than it's super long, kind of not safe for work, and even if it were not safe for work, it's still easier for me to record when there are no people at home. And these are the summer months, so it's very, like, it's not, it's neither here nor there whether people would be at home. My parents, both of them, will probably be working, but my dad doesn't need to be, like, physically at work during the summer months because he's a teacher. And my brother, I don't know what he'll be doing. It depends on how COVID is doing, I guess, because if we're in lockdown again, we're all gonna be home. So it's tentatively there. If I manage to do the super long pod fake, I will be very happy. And if I don't manage, I will figure out what other things I can do in the meantime. So it's not that I won't be doing anything, but you know, fingers crossed. I really want to do a super long pod fake. I've been wanting to for a long time, or well, for the past year. So uh, I'm nervous about that one. My July writing goals are working on the Trans Siberian AU for Yurian Eyes. I have no idea if that's going to happen. I really, really would like to though, because the Trans Siberian EU is already rafted. The first draft exists. It doesn't even need a lot of rewriting. I think it needs like a scene or two, adding description and like a, a bunch of like line editing, but that's it. It's 
pretty much done. And I don't know why I haven't done it, and it like really, really bothers me. So that's going to be happening in July if nothing changes. The same for August, actually. My writing goals for August are working on the room at you. That one is not drafted, and that was... It's very difficult for me to go back to that one because I wrote that at a time where I wasn't in a good mental space, I think. So I don't know. I hope I manage. I want to do it. I have no other goals for August. I just want to work on that story, finish it, post it, close that chapter of my life, because that will finish all of my Yuri on Ice Fix, and I don't want to leave things unfinished. I really, really don't like that, so... I hope that August, and, like July and August, I manage to do those stories and just finish them. As for September, I have new, um, new podfic goals. I, like I said, I have three consecutive months for the same goal, so let's see how that goes. And as for September, I have um, more Guardians of Time one-shots, and again, very, very small. Not only because September is usually the start of school years, and I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing in September, but also because the room you might take a long time, so it might bleed into September. And um, also because in September, I think ITP sign-ups open, and I would probably like to start doing my ITP stuff a lot earlier this year. Um, and also, I might actually sign up for ITP. We'll see, we'll see. As for October, um, I don't have concrete goals for October. This is very far into the year. And like I said, I don't know what I'm going to be working in. I don't know if I'm going to start a PhD. I don't know if I'm going to be, still be teaching English to these kids. I don't know anything. I, I like the, the longer it goes into the year, the less I know. So it's very vague. The only thing I have written for um, FIC goals is Preptober, I guess, because obviously the next month is NaNoWriMo, so we'll see what happens. Maybe I will still have things uh, carried over from the Room AU or the Trans-Siberian AU, or maybe I won't and I will have time to continue editing the ABO AU. Your guess is as good as mine. As for, um, as for Podfic goals, I have finishing ITP stuff, because I don't have time to do that during um, November, and I don't think I want to be doing that during December again, especially if December has any more voice team shenanigans. So, that's October. For November, um, much like in May I only had voice team, for November I only have NaNoWriMo. I don't think I'll have time to edit any podfic while I'm writing. Um, <laughs> last year's NaNoWriMo was very weird. I managed to write 50k in two weeks, which was weird and amazing and Gives me horrible ideas of trying to do a hundred k for this NaNoWriMo. We'll see. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Don't. Don't come at me. Maybe I will decide not to do it after all, depending on where I am at the time and how much free time I have and all of the things. So we'll see. We'll see. Now November is eleven months away. <laughs> Let's not get crazy here. Finally, for December. I will possibly maybe have things to finish carried over from the year, so I have no writing goals. Besides, I will have just finished NaNoWriMo, and if I've managed to write 100k, and even if I've only done 50, um, I might just not want to write, and that's okay. So the only goals I have for December is signing up for Voice the Mystery Box if they do another round, because it was super fun, it was super fun, and I liked it so much, so those are my goals for December this year, and those are... All of my goals, writing and potfic related, for 2021. Finally, my general goals for 2021 are also do something that scares me a little, like I did last year. It went well, so let's repeat that one. Ideas that I have so far for that is building a box or like a sound insulation box for my mic and figuring out what my mic is doing um, for potfic. Learning more about audiovisual editing, not just for podfic, but also for videos. I'm hoping that in February or March I will start tinkering with new editing programs for video. Let's see how that goes. Let's see if I figure it out or not. Let's see. I don't know. Um, I have half a mind to open a different YouTube channel under a complete different name for something science-y related, because I'm a biologist and I would like to do something with that. and. 
I've been thinking for a long time that like science in general is very unapproachable and there are a lot of YouTube channels dedicated to like physics and maths and, and um, especially physics for some reason or at least in Spanish there are a lot of them dedicated to physics and maths and I've seen very very few if none at all about biology and I feel like as a millennial <laughs> and as a biologist who currently has a lot of time in her hands it might be quote-unquote part of my duty to bring science to a level where it's easy to understand without having a biology degree and even having a biology degree it's very difficult to understand sometimes so I should probably that should probably help I don't know if I'm going to do that but it's a thought it's been there for a while let's see how it goes I don't know what I'm going to do I don't know how it works like if you have your face online for completely different things in completely different languages does the youtube algorithm still link them together and show people your face i don't know i don't know if like i necessarily want this channel about my spanish life linked to my professional life and if i put part of my professional life on youtube like does it affect me and my job opportunities? I don't know, it's very strange. Everything is very strange. So, I don't know. It, it doesn't scare me a little. That one scares me a lot, but it's a thought that I've been having for a while. Um, other thoughts that I've been having is maybe learning how to sew and create my own clothes. Um, I'm that part of people on YouTube that follows Bernadette Banner and like watches all of, her, all of her videos all the time and I love them and I don't want to start dressing like that because just that's just not how I want to dress but I really really like the idea of creating your own clothes and I would really like to do like skirts I don't have enough skirts and often when I go buy skirts I don't either don't like the color don't like the pattern or the way like it fits me I don't know so I, I maybe I will make some skirts this year who knows oh I also like really really like pinafores maybe I will make a pinafore I don't know I've never sewn anything before so that's something <laughs> Other things I want to do is make more notebooks. I used to make my own notebooks. I I mean, I used to. I still do them. It's just that I have so many notebooks lately that I don't get to fill them, so I don't make any more because why would I? So I want to do that more this year. If I don't do them for myself, maybe do notebooks for other people and as gifts. I don't know. I just want to create more notebooks. It was super fun. I really like it. If I don't get to do notebooks, I might get into... Thick binding, I think it's called, um, where you print out fix and bind them into books. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe if I, like, I don't know, maybe I'll bind, like, some of my stories or something like that, just for fancies. Finally, uh, this is a goal that is not fun and, like, a lot of people have it. I would like to exercise more and it's not because I want to lose weight or anything, it's because, if given the chance, I will not move at all. And this year has given me a lot of chances to not move, especially during lockdown and quarantine, so I really need to start moving more. We recently got a stationary bike, so even if I don't want to go outside because it's raining, like right now, I can probably do that. I would like to start doing a little more because, you know, if you don't need all of the explanation, you know, we all know. Uh, so, you know, let's just finish there, let's not overthink it. Moving. Moving is good. <laughs> if I don't get to like go on a real like super long walk or if I don't go to the gym because I used to do that, not, to that, not 2020, 2019 I went to the gym a lot more. I don't know if I'm going to do that, especially now that COVID is still a thing. But maybe go on walks, uh, use the stationary bike, stretch. Stretching is actually like something I used to do even before I went to the gym and I stopped because, I don't know, I'm lazy. So moving that's my my final my final goal for this year is moving a lot more at least at least three times a week aside from you know going one way or another like commuting and going to my classes and stuff that like doesn't count for this goal it counts obviously but not for this goal and those have been my 2021 goals they run a little long because i was detailing every single month but you know that's what i want to do this year 
it's very... I don't know if it's minimal, I wouldn't say it's minimal, but I've tried to keep it reasonable at least, and I know, I know, I haven't included any time aside from NaNoWriMo for new projects. If new projects come up, I might schedule them in, I... we'll see how it goes. I don't know if it's like going to be my year of finishing things, but I really would like to, you know, close a lot of chapters, especially the Yuri on Ice chapters. I just really want to finish those. And the Hanahaki AU. The Hanahaki AU has plagued me for long enough. So, this is all I have for today. It's been a very long video and I hope you stayed till the end. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please click the like button and subscribe. If you want to see more of my content, I post bi-weekly on Sundays, sometimes even more. And yeah, thank you so much guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!